My name is Theresa McKinnon. I work at the University of Warwick in the UK and this article was prepared in collaboration with Sarah Passfield Niafitu who works at the University of Monash in Australia. Open educational resources for language teaching and learning challenges to higher education policy. The article presents a set of examples of video resources which provide compelling language learning materials. Sarah and I are both experienced language teachers. I teach French and Sarah teaches Japanese. We understand that the authenticity of our language teaching materials and the need to tailor them to our audience and to be relevant to our audience are important. Digital practice presents opportunities at a time when engaging students in the lengthy process of language learning can be challenging, but we know there is a great deal of interest in video. And we know the influence of commercial and cultural pr products in attracting learners to a language. However, there are pitfalls in the development, sourcing and modification of video resources for language teachers. The practitioner landscape can be confusing having the digital skills necessary and confronting technical and legal barriers to availability of suitable resources in specific learning contexts can be tricky. And so we identified a policy gap. We need to know what can be used in language learning contexts and we need to know more about the legal and technical barriers internationally. We argue that a grassroots or little open educational resources movement, little OER, can engage teachers and learners around digital resources to the benefit of language teaching and learning. Given policies and practices designed to ease challenges and eliminate barriers to open educational resource use, we believe that video can really empower learners.